And we want to take you now to a film called from called Hire Studios. It is a crowdfunded film film company making its premiere. It's called Camp Hideout, and it tells the story of a teen in foster care who keeps getting into trouble. And then he's given the option to attend a summer camp or spend some time in juvenile hall. Are you ready for the best week of your life? <laughs> That was everybody's first full day of camp. This whole thing isn't really my scene. Let's begin with why this particular story for your company's first film out, Camp Hideout. Um, we sent out a survey very early on why did you invest and what do you want to see through Call Dyer Studios. And one of the biggest responses we got was that we want to go and make movies for the next generation. I'm Becky with a B. I'm Noah with a no. <laughs> okay. This story shows that Noah, who's from the foster care system, you know, really has some walls up because of experiences and things that, that have just, you know, not gone right in his life. Um, and it really shows the power of counselors and kids and how unconditional love um, and loving one, you know, someone loving somebody just like Jesus told us to do can really break down walls and, and really turn somebody around. I do not have a crush. He's had a lot to overcome in his life. Stop that kid! A little punk! What was the process like? I can only imagine, I mean, you guys get a crowdfunded studio supported by Christians and now you venture into actually making a film. Uh, how was this process? 6,000 people, you're going to have a lot of opinions and a lot of <laughs> different things. You know, we manage that well. And for the most part, um, everyone's on the same page. Uh, but it was a great experience because we try to keep everyone updated. We actually had some investors who visited us on set. There are multiple multiple investors who are extras in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, it was, was, was fun and a great experience for us. And I, I think a, a wonderful experience for them. But it's, it takes a long time and a lot of hands and a lot of effort, but together, you know, we, we did a great job, in my opinion, and our investors were a huge, huge, huge part of that. Tell me about the casting for this film. It's pretty impressive for a first run. <laughs> yeah, we had some legends, uh, you know, come on set. Corbin Blue's been acting since he was a kid, um, you know, was a star of High School Musical and just a great, great soul. Um, Christopher Lloyd, I mean, such a legend, Back to the Future. Um, he was Uncle Fester in the Adams Family. And so, you know, we were really blessed to have some great, great uh, cast members. Last chance, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. <laughs> that juvenile delinquent has been nothing but trouble since he got here. What's your prayer for the project as it gets released? I hope kids um, see this movie and walk away with a little seed planted of the gospel in their heart so that um, if it changes them just in a little way that they can go out um, and put that into the world, whether that is they go to school the next day and someone's having a bad day or there's a bully, they, they choose to, to take a different path and action with them and show them unconditional love and the love of Jesus. Um, and at the end of the day, I, I hope families just go to the theaters and have a wonderful family experience on a clean, ethical film that um, has faith values. And, you know, I hope that we get a chance to send Hollywood a message that says, hey, this is what we want. This is the content that we want. Uh, maybe a weird question. Which character in the film do you most identify with? Oh, wow. I'm definitely Noah. Uh, <laughs> I, I say that because, you know, I was saved at a church camp uh, when I was 12 years old. Um, Probably like like most kids, you know, I was a goofy kid that made some poor choices. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had a lot of people in my life, whether it was counselors or coaches, um, that chose to, to pour into me for whatever reason. And so that has greatly impacted my life and, and changed my future. So I would definitely say that uh, mm -hmm. that Noah, uh, Noah and I are probably a lot alike. Knock it off! Sneaking in comes the bed! You stole a magical video game from a bunch of gangsters? We're going to that camp and we're gonna get what's ours. I'm gonna get my hands on that kid. Um, and so this story was really close to home for me because you know I really made it for my kids and mm -hmm. I thought if I could make something for my kids that I would wanna sit on the couch and watch that hopefully other people will enjoy it too. You don't think some people are beyond help? What are you guys doing here? We're all here for you. The Summer Camp Adventure Camp Hideout is in theaters right now. Be sure to check your local listings to find a theater near 